went before JD. <laughs> 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 He's sure going to make me look bad. Uh, Y'all, my name is Chris Gay, and I am running for the office that nobody wants to talk about. That's the coroner's office of Lowndes County. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I have people to say to me all the time, I don't care who the coroner is. But man, by the time I need you, I ain't going to be around. <laughs> what, do I, what do I care? Well, you know, what I try to tell people, I, first, I've worked with the coroner's office as a deputy coroner. I'll see him how things can operate. I'm retired from the Georgia State Patrol in 2010. I worked for the Biological Police Department before that for a few years. But what I want to tell you about the coroner's office, the message I'm trying to get out is, yes, you may be gone by the time you need the coroner's office, but we all have loved ones. We all have friends. We all have brothers. I come from a large family, and I probably a lot of y'all do too, but you know, I want to, if you have someone that's close to you, that's your loved one, that dies under certain circumstances, let's say they're in custody at the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department or by a Ballast Police Officer, or uh, maybe they die under certain circumstances at the nursing home. These things happen, y'all, and we've all read about them in the news. Uh, suppose they go to the hospital with the shoulder hurting, and an hour later they're dead. Mm -hmm. Need somebody on the outside to go in and investigate. The coroner's office traditionally has not been so much of an investigative agency, which it should be. That is actually the job of the coroner's office. A lot of people think that the coroner's office comes out and says, yep, they're gone. They just leave. In reality, that's what's happening now. But we got to move that office up, get the first doing his job and asking a few questions. Uh, a little while back, there was a couple months ago, there was a uh, hanging out at the Lowndes County Jail. This uh, young man had, was found hanging from a cell. Uh, you know, this is not rumor. This comes straight from the sheriff. This is the sheriff now. He told me the coroner, our county coroner, was out there for a minute and a half. What kind of investigation can you do in a minute and a half? And think about that. If that was somebody you knew, somebody you loved, a relative or something, you want somebody other than law enforcement also checking things. Not to say that anything's not right, but you want to have somebody on your side to go out there and ask a hard question, speak to the people they got to speak to, and uncover the rocks and get the facts of the case. Uh, I want the opportunity to do that for you. As I said, I retired from state patrol. I've been in law enforcement. I had experience and training in the area of investigation. And uh, I would appreciate your support. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you.